So we have a work time period, which means prisoners can attend to their job at the cleaning cupboard. Right now, that's the only job we have for them, but we'll have more as time goes on. Uh, so yeah, that ought to be good. Right now, we're at a capacity 30 of 30. That's decent enough. Oh my gosh, people, build the fence. Is worst workman ever. Okay. Anyway, so uh, where was I? Yeah, so now we have a work time period. So if we go to uh, programs, let's let, let's no, not reschedule all programs. I just want to kind of look at the schedule of the programs. Where can I find that? Uh, uh is it on the regime? Regimen? Uh, maybe I need micromanaging or something. Uh, I remember there, there, there's a way to get to, like, the actual thing. Do I need, like, micromanagement? We'll get it. Okay. We should get patrols as well. Those are good. We're almost, we've all, we almost have tax relief. That's good. That's good. I like tax relief. Okay, cool. Oh, are you... Yes, finally. Okay, okay, okay. Bulldoze. Boom. Okay, good, finally. There we go. So, yeah. We'll, uh, queue up the walls. Those will be important to have. Okay. Because, I mean, cells kind of need walls. There we go. Okay, cool. Much better prison now. Much better. What? Why is there a box of trains right there? Why? Okay. Um. Oh, cool. We into we got even more prisoners. Cool. We have lots of prisoners. Um. Let's take a look at our intake. So yeah, there's 25 available. L let's stop taking in prisoners. All right. Uh, let's just close off taking in prisoners. I'm done with it for now. We take no prisoners. Uh, we could use some more guards, I feel. Cool, so if we take a look at logistics, we can take a look at room quality. So this is a grade 5 room. But the, ocu the occupant's only entitled to a grade 2. This is grade 6, so a lot of these occupants aren't actually entitled to the room that they have. But, you know, as time goes on, they'll build up reputations and stuff and actually be deserving or perhaps not so deserving of their room. So there you go. Okay, yeah. So that's fun. That's fun. Now then. Uh, how's the crackdown on the drugs doing? So, uh, okay. Come on, guys. Come on. How's this guy here? Oh, we have a maximum security prisoner now? You can't be serious. Dudes, what did you do? 
you have... I don't think anyone's died, at least. We, we need a hospital thing, don't we? Yeah, we do. Okay. Also, one thing I want to kind of institute... We need to crack down... I think we should crack down a bit on... What, what What's it called? Oh my gosh, I should know this. Uh, stuff. We need to crack down on stuff. Contraband. We need to ca crack down a bit on contraband. I think that will... That's something we ought to do. Because, I mean, if the prisoners don't have knives, they aren't stabbing each other. Of course, um... Phone tap. Fascinating. Uh, I don't actually know if we can have the contraband detector yet. Uh... Maybe not. I don't know, I'm looking and I don't really see it. Metal detect- there it is, a metal detector. So yeah, that would be worth getting. Okay, so let's let's slow down a bit. We aren't building anything anymore, so we should be fine to slow down a bit. And consider how things are going. Consider our grants and everything else. Alright, grants. We can accept no more grants. We're currently in a short-term investment, which, uh... Yeah. Crackdown on drugs. Not too much we could do about that. We could call for a shake-up or something. But, yeah, that wouldn't be... We need to assign three guards to patrol route. There we go. Easy. Deployment. I actually wanted to get some patrol routes going. Anyways. So we should probably have a guard patrolling down all every cell station thing. Uh, we sh where else do we want to patrol? I mean, we just want some deployment in the shower in general and the canteen. Where else would we want a patrol? I don't really know, actually. It actually, ooh, schedule, schedule, ooh, this is cool. Um, I'm not sure I want to mess with that right now, though. Oh, uh, we'll just add a. We'll have a guy patrolling around the yard. There we go. We got money. Okay, cool. So now we can accept another grant. The Education Initiative. Okay, what do we want? Inmate health and well-being. Medical ward. Assign three prisoners. Laundry, kitchen, and cleaning, cleaning cupboard. Now, the thing about the kitchen is we have to wait for prisoners to actually pass the cooking class before we can assign them to work in the kitchen. So that may not be the best thing to get right now. Uh... Let's work on health and well-being. We can get that one real quick, and it'll be good. So where do we want our health wing? How about, like, instead of adding more dorms over here, we just add medical stuff over this way. I like that idea. So we'll uh, build a building. We can make it out of like we'll make it out of brick to kind of differentiate it from the rest of the buildings in the area. Cool. So th this ought to be big enough for what we're going to need. And what do we need? We need a medical ward, a morgue, and we'll probably want a couple psychologist offices. So maybe more along the lines of this big. So this will be like the med the med bay because we actually do need one of those. We'll also uh, build some concrete walls, and a fence there. We'll get a nice, uh, get a, 
Do I have a jail door or a staff door or what? I'll just give it a door. Okay, uh, get to work. Build the stuff. So we have some maxims. We have some two high risk prisoners. Which is unfortunate. I would have preferred to keep it pretty much all normal security, but when you do evil things, you become an evil person. Or something like that. So yeah. These guys are just hanging out in the canteen. Okay, so this guy... These guys are working hard at their cooking class, that's good. Yeah, but we should get some psychologists. So we... Yeah, so they're building that. That's good. So psychologists are important. That'll allow us to do a couple more classes. We'll be able to do alcoholics group therapy. We'll also be able to do just... Psycho psychological therapy with prisoners. So that's good. That, that'll help them... That'll help the reforming effort a bit. Which should hopefully lower our reoffending rates, because we don't want a high reoffending rate. We want a l as low of a reoffending rate as possible. Now then, something to be aware of is they can get potentially dangerous weapons out of the medical area. Like I think from the morgue, they can get a knife. So. Uh, and knives are good. They're pretty good. So, we definitely want a metal detector right where these fences are right now. For this area. So, we should, uh... Demolish the fence. Okay, so let's consider this. So, we're going to want a couple psychologists. Uh, we don't necessarily need to be on super fast forward right now. We want a couple psychologists, for sure. Uh, so they'll need offices. Wherever those are. There we go, offices. Okay, so this is the minimum office size, so we can't actually fit one up here. That's unfortunate. So the psychologist will have to go there and there. The morgue, how big do you need to be? Morgue. Uh, morgue, 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 where are you? Infirmary. Morgue. Uh, so that just needs slabs. So we can kind of just run this across the top. Then the infirmary can go here. Oh, that's good. That's good. So, yeah. We'll get a couple doors for the psychologist offices. I want at the very least a staff door on the morgue. And we'll build walls throughout this building here. So the offices, they will need filing cabinets, a desk, chairs, and I mean since it's a psychologist's office we obviously want to have another chair on the other side of the desk for the people who are there. Oh, good, everyone's at the place who wishes to be healed. That's good. Can we, uh, there we go. A morgue slab. So we'll have these kind of running along the top here. And hopefully, I don't think we should actually really ever need the too many morgue slabs. We'll just have a couple for now. I mean, hopefully we don't ever need any morgue slabs, but that's not going to be the case. So there we go. Morgue, offices, infirmary. Good. So I can have some psychologists, a couple doctors, and there we go. I'm not sure if, it's ac if the morgue actually realistically should be here, but hey, like if it's appropriate for it to be right next to the infirmary, but I feel it's appropriate, so it's appropriate. Alright, um, so, we want to get some metal detectors here, though. 
because we do not want prisoners running around with uh, knives and stuff. Okay? That is a big no-no. Also, I think uh, theoretically you should have a bin right near your metal detectors. Bin. There. We'll have a bin right here. Here. There we go. Or, no. It'll be here. The bin. And so I believe metal detectors actually require a uh, direct source of power. So there we go. Oh wait, we also need the whole point I went into this menu in the first place. There we go. So, we'll actually want to have... A guard that is constantly on control, like right here. Just standing there. To man the metal detectors here, that way if anyone tries to run through with contrabands, they'll get caught. Okay, so now that we have psychologist offices, that opens up some more programs, as I mentioned earlier. Behavioral therapy. So I'll have a few sessions of that, and then we can have alcoholics group therapy. Okay, so we can re we can edit the schedule now. So we could I I'd realistically prefer to have parole hearings. What's going on? Oh, wait, what's this? Stop. What are you doing? What happened? Where are they going? Um. Oh, okay, just the speed I was at. It made, them lo it, made it look like they were all, like, running. Like, rioting or something. Okay, lights are on in the infirmary, people are back to their dormitories. Uh, that's good. Cool. Our, uh, wing is up and running here. Uh, so that ought to be, uh... Oh, we have a, uh, prisoner up for parole today. Okay, so everyone's sleeping. Let's take a look at Grant. Okay, reform through education initiative. Well, let's get started on it. Okay, so... We'll have a nice pathway. We'll have up this way be kind of like the education and also working zone. Up here. And then we'll move the yard to right here, because this is much a much cooler location for a yard. So come on guys, build it. And let's think about what are we doing here. What do we want to build? We, we'll need a classroom, that's first priority. A workshop, that would be great as well. We need... I'd also like to ideally get... A shop... And a laundry room. With room to build a library later on as well so let's let's do that so we want our so we can have our uh, workshop and education room be the uh, same building right it should be big and we're talking Lots of stuff to go in here. So yeah, that's that's going to be our workshop slash school house room. And on this side of things, we'll go a bit smaller. We want a store. We'll probably have like a com room or something. 
that is like right next to the store. And then what other jobs are there? What other jobs do we have that we want prisoners to have? We want the chapel to be in this area as well. So, the chapel, laundry, mail room. I almost forgot that that, e that even exists. Let's start with these two buildings. We'll get them all nice and finished up. And then, because we don't want to run out of money and not finish any of these buildings. That would not be good. Because we need to build 20 school desks. Oh, man. Oh, um, um. Quick wall. There. Now. I accidentally made this brick. Darn. Oh, well, I can fix it later if I want. Okay, so. Okay, let's see. So, we need 20 school desks in this education realm. What's it called? The classroom? Okay. So we'll just build that there for now. Uh, we need 20 school desks. So let's, uh... Let's see. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Uh, do I want to go... I don't want to go this far up. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. 18, 19, 20. There we go. That is our classroom. Okay, classroom. Well, there you go. Boom. And we also need a, an office desk up here in the front. And we'll give him a chair. Like, a nice chair. So, yeah. That's the classroom. I want a store as well. So, we'll build a nice wall right here. There we go. A nice wall. We'll put a nice door in the wall. And then, so, on this side of the room we'll have it be, like, a common room. You know, just a place where people can hang out. There'll be some entertainment and stuff. And then on this side of the room, the, uh, store side, it will be a shop. Cool. Please tell me I actually... Oh, I actually did. Good. And so we'll have the shop front. It'll be like, well, we need to build the wall first. Uh, come on, guys, build this stuff. Also, we need to bring the utilities up here. At least power. I'm not sure. If, well, we'll need. We 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 will need. Uh, oh, come on, guys. Why do you keep getting to fights in the shower? Do I not have some guards in there? Permanently deployed in the shower. And a guy in the canteen. Anyways, okay, so yeah, common room. Shop. Alright. As far as the shop goes, we'll need uh, shop shelves. A bunch of shop shelves. To be stocked. Big shop, big shop. So we want a shop front as well. 
But yeah, right there seems as like a reasonable place as any. And that will be the shop. Prisoners will be able to work there and they'll be able to buy stuff from there. Which that is cool. We also want to have a workshop. There we go, workshop. So we'll need a saw, a press, and let's get a carpentry table as well. Alright. And we'll just continue that pattern throughout. A saw, a press, and a carpentry table. A saw, a press, and a carpentry table. Also have on the wall here. Oh, we can't actually rotate stuff. Okay, so we have a couple saws. A couple. I feel like we need more saws and presses than carpentry table. The fair, fair enough amounts. Uh, so we'll have a few saws up here, and we'll get a few presses. And this will be our workshop. And I can tell you right now, we're going to need uh, some capacitors for that. Like, yeah, the, like four, that should hopefully help. Okay, wow. Okay, so, yeah, we'll build this stuff up here. We don't want to go bankrupt building stuff. So I'll make a quick cut. I'm not planning on building anything else at the moment yet. I'll make a quick cut here to once this whole area here is built. That should be a lot more interesting for you people. Uh, uh okay guys, so... Uh, th this seemed to warrant me coming back before I had planned on coming back. Uh, we, we, we've had our first death in the prison. I believe it's our first. Uh, yeah. It was uh, Matt Moss who was sentenced to three years for assault. And he is dead now. Oh well. He's a snitch. Ex-law enforcement. That'll get you. And a snitch. Uh... No wonder who's targeted. <sighs> Poor. Unfortunately, uh, yeah. He would have had only a 54% reoffending chance. Oh well. Sorry, Mad Moss. I've failed you. Okay, I'm back to, uh, skipping. Whoa! Look, what the? What happened here? It's disgusting in here. Has no one been cleaning? <sighs> Alright, I'll see ya. I'll see you in the, uh, once it's ready. Okay, guys. Wow, so, it took a while, but the shop, common room, and workshop have been have finished being built. So we've got a few things we gotta do. Um, let's take a look at programs. We ought to add a workshop safety induction at like any possible time. So yeah. General uh, foundation education program. We definitely want some of that. Come on, guys. Wh why aren't you taking foundation educational? Uh, also, we can have pharmacological treatment of drug addiction. That ought to be good. And then if we go to uh, logistics and prison labor, we can have up to 10 jobs in the shop and 13 jobs in the workshop. Isn't that amazing? 
So yeah, so that this is actually a this is a big step forward for our reform program. So that's good. But anyways, guys. So if you don't know, this uh, let's play here was meant to be a mini series to span about five episodes. And so yeah, I th I believe we have now run that course. So this will be the end of the mini series now. We did a lot of great stuff here together. We made a functioning prison. We started oh found some illegal drugs. Well, I mean, not illegal drug, Not necessarily illegal drugs, but drugs that just don't let our prisoners have. Um, yeah, we had some fun rooms over here for the prisoners. Some, we started work on uh, really starting to try to reform these guys. It was fun. It was definitely fun. But this is the end of the miniseries. Although... I'm completely open it, open to potentially continuing this series if there's enough if you guys really wanted to continue. So if you really like this series and you just wanted to continue, well make sure you show your support by giving it a like, show your support in the comments. All right. I know we've just barely scratched the surface of everything this game has to offer, so it would be really fun to dive some into it even more. But anyways, guys, until the next uh, mini series, or potentially next episode of this, if you guys really want to see it, I've been Simicraft, and I'll catch you then.